Hi, hopefully everybody's been having a good week. So today I'm going to be going over learning outcome number two, which is differentiate among the types of reliability and how to calculate them. So we have two types of reliability. Um, we have interclass reliability and intra-class reliability. So for interclass reliability, it examines correlations and relationships. And there's only two trials and they're normally placed on an XY graph. So um, there's three subtypes of this. There's test retest, which is um, giving the same test on two, two different occasions to see if you get the same result. And in plotting it on the XY graph, you can see if there's any uh, if there's any variance in it and if it was reliable. So for the next one is equivalence reliability, which means it gives which means you get two parallel tests and you figure out if you get the same result. So what that means is that let's say for example you have two different thermometers and you both you put them both in your roast and um, if you if they both read the same temperature then that means that it's equivalence reliable so our next one is split halves reliability and it's taking two different halves of a test and checking them to see if they're reliable so for example if you take all the odd questions out of the test and compare them to all the even questions of the test Maybe all the odd ones are really, really hard, but all the even ones are really, really easy. So there's a discrepancy there and you have to recheck that and probably redo it. Um, so our other type of, reli of reliability is intra-class reliability. And for that, you can use more than two trials. Um, and this is based on an on analysis of variance and it compares variance of scores on individual tests. So what this means is that we're not looking at the, the scores themselves, like we're just looking at the variance of the different scores. So for example, this isn't really the best example, I think, but um, if let's say you're your teacher and you're checking the scores of all your students and um, if everybody got an 85 to a 90 on the test, then no, an 85 to like 98 on the test, then that means that it was a really good test and you taught them well. But if everybody's getting a huge range from like 65 to 99, then that means that there's a discrepancy there and um, some people aren't getting it as well as everybody else. So yeah.